Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Charles Mill Marina. I'm sitting here with our service manager, Jamie. I'm also sitting here with our general manager, John. As we all know, unfortunately, the calendar has now flipped into October. That means the end of another great boating season out here on Charles Mill Lake and many other lakes around Ohio. So what we wanna talk about with you today is some important dates that you need to know for the upcoming fall season as we get into winter. Also wanna go through what you'll need on your boat as you get it ready for the winter season. Uh, so John, as we come up here in the month of October, what are some important dates that folks should keep in mind um, as they get their boats ready for winter? Um, other than houseboats, all the pontoons do have to be on the, off the docks by November 1st. Um, everybody wants to wait till the end. We can't do everybody at the end, so call and schedule it in so that you can keep it as long as you want if you do want to stay in late. Um, those dates are filling up, so make sure and call us on that. Uh, but again, November 1st on the pontoons, they do need to be off the docks. That's right. And when do uh, houseboats get pulled out this year? Houseboats are pulled out. Um, we start on October 31st, and we it's a three-day thing, so we do it the first and second as well. Uh, houseboaters don't have to be here. Uh, we pull them out, drive them. we got experienced houseboat drivers that drive them around, and we'll take care of you whether you're here or not. We do need to make sure we have keys to your cabin, though. Uh, it's very important. Anything else for maybe some of the first time houseboaters they should be aware of that needs to be on the boat when it comes out of the water? Um, obviously the fuel, uh, make sure it runs, uh, make sure the keys are in the, in the ignition. Um, if we do have to tow it over, there is another additional charge. Um, other than that, you do have to winterize a houseboat, which you maybe if you had a pontoon in the past, you'd not have to do. But those water lines do need uh, winterized or we'll have a, you'll have a surprise in the spring. And for any of the pontoon customers, somebody who might be considering getting a new redeck this coming winter, somebody who might be considering getting new covers, uh, anything you want to say there about those? Sure. Uh, Jamie's done a good job on uh, all the redecks, so give her a call and uh, it, uh, get rid of that old carpet. Um, vinyl is a new thing now, uh, so you'll see that the stuff does not grow on the floor like it does on the carpet. A lot easier to maintain and clean. Um, and with that, everybody's a lot of people going to individual seat covers. Um, it is not fun covering up a mooring cover on a pontoon on a hot day. But if it's just a couple, you take a couple seats off on the individual seat covers and go out the lake and enjoy. And it's a lot easier when you get back. Obviously, a really great time of year to get those kinds of projects done on your boat. Coming up for the winter, you're not going to be using it. And uh, it's something where we can slot it in, be ready to go next spring for you. So um, great to hear all of that. Now, Jamie, for any of our pontoon dockers, anybody around the lake, anybody who might be bringing their boat in, how would I go about scheduling winterization services and the pull-up? Sure, um, you can just give us a call. You're welcome to even text our number. We can get back with you. Um, pretty simple, like he said, those last dates are filling up quickly. So if you wanna get it scheduled sooner rather than later, and do people actually have to be here at the marina for their boat to be pulled out? No, we actually, that's a service that we can provide. Um, if you dock here, we can drive your boat over. We can put it on the uh, trailer and take care of that for you. And no, you can just give us a call. And like I said, that's a service we provide um, that we can take care of. So we know that with the Ohio's winters, it's gonna be harsh, it's gonna be cold. You gotta protect your boat. Uh, so what would you recommend? Maybe as somebody who hasn't done this before, maybe it's your first season, maybe it's even your second season, just as a reminder, sure. what do you recommend in terms of fall service? Um, oil change and winterization is, is very important. Um, if you store outside, shrink wrap as well. Um, we also, um, we can clean the tubes in the hall for you. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that's really it. We want to make sure that the boats are in the best condition possible. So that way, when you drop them in the water again next spring, everything works exactly, exactly. as you want it to. <laughs> um, so obviously, we're looking forward to another great boating season ahead yes. uh, a year from now. Uh, just one thing from a sales perspective. If you are interested in maybe looking at a new boat for next season, we do have a great promotion going on right now. It's the trade-in and trade-up sales promotion uh, where we're offering free fall services on any boat, any new boat in stock. Uh, also free storage until the next uh, spring as well. So don't really, don't worry about your boat until next spring. Don't even worry about fault services. We'll take care of all of that. Obviously we're sitting here in our new boat showroom. We have some great boats in the stack. You can see all those on our website as well. Um, so thank you, John. Thank you, Jamie. Appreciate your time and thank you everybody. And uh, we'll see you soon out here. And uh, we still have a few more days in the boating season. So get out and enjoy your boats. Thank you. Mm -hmm.